Llama 3 Day is here. What an exciting day. I even broke out the tie-dye hoodie just for this launch. Today, we are gonna be talking all about Llama 3. We're gonna review the announcement. I'm gonna show you what's new about it, what's different about it. And I have a bunch of videos planned for Llama 3, including testing and coding and fine tuning everything. So very exciting times. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to continue getting awesome AI content. So let's dig into it. So just a few minutes ago, we had the launch of Llama 3. This is the third version of the Llama series of models out of Meta AI. And taking a step back, the original Llama leak, which was about a year ago, was really what set off the entire open source, locally run model craze. And I am so thankful to Meta and whoever leaked it because it got an entire new generation of people into artificial intelligence. And then we had Llama 2, which was a huge upgrade from Llama 1. And now today, we have Llama 3. So let me show you what it's all about. This is the blog post, Build the Future of AI with Meta Llama 3. You can find this, you can download the models and everything from here, llama.meta.com slash llama3. Now available with both 8 billion and 70 billion pre-trained and instruction tuned versions to support a wide range of applications. Now, if you're a keen observer, you're probably noticing they're missing that middle size version around 34 billion parameters. I'm sure it's coming. And it looks like Meta AI has released, or maybe they hadn't and I didn't know about it, essentially a ChatGPT UI competitor right here. So we can actually test it out. And I'll run a quick couple tests on it just to show you, but the full battery of tests, I'm gonna save for another video. And it's interesting that they say right here, whether you're developing agents or other AI powered applications, these models offer the capabilities and flexibility you need to develop your ideas. And basically agents are now first class citizens in the world of AI. There were a lot of people who doubted that agents are actually a thing because they said, well, it's just a prompt, right? It's so much more than that. And I'm glad that Meta is seeing that and also knows that. And here it is, Meta AI, Meta.AI. This is their new chat interface for Llama 3. Let's just test something really quickly. And I bet you know what I'm gonna test. Write the game Snake in Python. All right, here we go. It is lightning fast. Look at this. And I'm not actually sure if it's using the 8 billion or 70 billion parameter version, but it is super fast. So we're gonna copy the code and it is using the curses library. So I think that means it's gonna be terminal based. All right, pasted the code in here. Doesn't look like we have any immediate errors. Let's push play. All right, we have a working snake game. In fact, this is one of the more complete games that I've seen. Amazing, it even gives me the score, it has a window, and this time the snake can go through, which is cool. And let's see what happens if the snake goes into itself, if I can actually do that. Yep, and it crashes. Flawless, this would be an absolute pass for Llama 3. So again, be sure to check out my coming videos where I'm gonna do the full suite of tests. And if you wanna try it yourself, just go to meta.ai, and now they have their own inference front end, which is amazing. All right, let's keep reading. So we have enhanced performance, enhanced state-of-the-art performance of Llama 3, an openly accessible model that excels at language nuances, contextual understanding, and complex tasks like translation and dialogue generation. With enhanced scalability and performance, Llama 3 can handle multi-step tasks effortlessly, while our refined post-training processes significantly lowers false refusal rates, improve response alignment, and boost diversity in model answers. So this is all good. I'm especially interested in multi-step tasks being handled effortlessly because that, in my mind, screams agents. And you know I'm gonna be plugging this into Crew AI. Additionally, it drastically elevates capabilities like reasoning, code generation, and instruction following. And they have the download model link right here. If we click it, you request access, put in your information. Why would we ever want to get Llama 2 anymore? Metacode Llama, I can't wait for Metacode Llama to be based on Llama 3, and then you download it. And here are the benchmarks. So Llama 3 models take data and scale to new heights. It's been trained on our two recently announced custom built 24,000 GPU clusters on over 15 trillion tokens of data. A training data set seven times larger than that used for Llama 2, including four times more code. 
I love the coding use case. I'm so glad that they're using a lot more code. Obviously, it's really good. I just tested it with Snake and it got it on the first try. This results in the most capable Llama model yet, which supports 8K context length, and that doubles the capacity of Llama 2. 8K is still pretty small. GPT-4 is 128K, and even that's small nowadays. Gemini Pro 1.5 is a million tokens, so we're getting a bit jaded with our token limits now. Uh, 8K is small, but fine-tuned versions will increase that drastically, and hopefully it still maintains the quality. Looking at the benchmarks, they are comparing the 8 billion parameter version to Gemma 7B, which is Google's small open model, and Mistral 7B Instruct, which is always one of my favorites, if not my favorite. But now, Metalama 38B, the clear winner, the clear winner for these smaller models, for the MMLU 5 shot, 78.4 compared to 53 and 58. GPQA 0 shot, 34 compared to 21 and 26. Basically across the board, human eval, GSM AK, math. I mean, look at the math score. For Llama 3, the math score is triple what Gemma 7B and Mistral 7B Instruct are. So I should probably add more complex math questions at this point to my LLM rubric. If you have any that you suggest, drop it in the comments below, I'll add it. Then we have the large model. And here's the interesting thing. Meta decided to compare their large 70B model against Gemini Pro 1.5, which is closed source, that is Google's top of the line model, the million token context window model, and Claude 3 Sonnet, but not Claude 3 Opus. And Claude 3 Opus is pretty much regarded as the best model out there, closed, open, doesn't matter, it is the best. So it's interesting that they only compared it against Claude 3 Sonnet, because the Sonnet model is the middle model of all three of the Claude models. So again, MMM MLU 5 shot, it won, but just barely. GPTQA, it lost, but just barely. Human eval, it is much better. And as a reminder, human eval is code generation. So look at this. Llama 3 8B code generation, double that of Gemma 7B and Mistral 7B. And for Llama 3 70B, human eval is 81, nearly 82. Gemini Pro 71 and Claude 3 Sonnet 73. So they really went all out on the coding aspect of this model. And that's my favorite use case. So I could not be more excited. That probably also means it's really good at function calling. And so again, I think agents. GSM 8K, it won. And then for the math benchmark, it got a 50, which is actually a bit less than Gemini Pro 1.5 and quite a bit more than Claude 3 Sonnet. And we're going to talk a little bit about trust and safety because that is a big theme for Meta, especially because they're open sourcing all of this. They really want to make sure that people are using it responsibly, whatever that actually means. And so let's take a look at some of their new innovations for the trust and safety category. So with the release of Llama 3, we've updated the responsible use guide, RUG, to provide the most comprehensive information on responsible development with LLMs. Our system-centric approach includes updates to our trust and safety tools with Llama Guard 2. So I've not actually heard of Llama Guard, surprisingly. Optimized to support the newly announced taxonomy published by ML Commons, expanding its coverage to a more comprehensive set of safety categories, Code Shield and CyberSec Eval 2. So what is Llama Guard? Making safety tools accessible to everybody. So enabling developers, advanced safety, and building an open ecosystem. So Llama Guard is their kind of architecture for making sure that the models are being used appropriately. And here's what it looks like. We have the responsible LLM product development stages, determine the use case. We have the model level, so you're actually creating the model. We have the system level where Llama Guard 2 and Llama Code Shield are being implemented and then building transparency. Here is an evaluation, meet Llama CyberSec eval. And basically what it does is looks for insecure code practices, cyber attacker helpfulness, code interpreter abuse, offensive cybersecurity capabilities and susceptibility to prompt injection. So it'll be interesting for this last one because there have been a number of jailbreaking techniques that have just worked and completely shattered the cutting edge closed source and open source models. And they have an entire paper for this, but I'm not gonna go over that now. If you wanna see that, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, Meta AI is brand new. That's meta.ai. That is their front end to their inference engine. They are basically competing with ChatGPT, but it is free, at least for now. So a better assistant, thanks to our latest advances with Meta Llama 3, we believe Meta AI is now the most intelligent AI system you can use for free. Boy, their continued releases into the open source community is such a great defensive competitive play. 
I really believe that. And the more they release for free, the more pressure they put on closed models like GPT-4, like Claude, like Gemini, and they will continue to push down the price, which is good for everybody else, for us developers and users of these systems. And I've also been saying that models are becoming commoditized very quickly. And we talked in a previous video a lot about the AI stack and where the value is gonna be, right? So at the bottom, we have the hardware layer, that's the NVIDIAs and the Groks of the world, and there's gonna be a lot of value created there, but that you know probably had to be started many years ago. Above that, we have the infrastructure layer, and that's agent orchestration tools and evaluation tools and observability, deployment, everything like that. There's gonna be a ton of value there. We have the model layer, which, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of value in the long run there. And then at the very top, we have the app layer. So apps built with or apps completely built on top of AI or existing apps that are now having AI features. And I do think that there's gonna be a lot of value there, although we haven't seen that yet. So you can use Meta AI in feed, chats, search, and more across our apps to get things done and access real-time information without having to leave the app. Now, what I think they need to do, and I don't think they've done it yet, but I bet they will, is start to integrate all the context that you already have as a user of all their systems into Llama 3. So it shouldn't just be a stateless engine all the time. We should be able to ask questions about whatever's on the page, about my chat history, about things that I've done in the past. That's really what I'm excited about. And now Meta AI's image generation is now faster, producing images as you type so you can create album artwork for your band, decor, inspiration, great. I didn't actually know you can create images with Meta AI. So let me just give that a try real quick. Create me an image of a robotic llama. All right, yep, there it is. Very cool, let's see what it looks like, if it's any good. So I typically use Dolly and I'm really happy with it, it's fine. Wow. Okay, this is really good. It's definitely not as high quality as Dolly, but it's good. And if you look right here, we have an imagined watermark. So they do watermark all of their AI images. So yep, you can use Meta AI. It's already on your phone, in your pocket for free. Starting to go global with more features. You can use it on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. Boy, they are going hard to get things done, learn, create, and connect with the things that matter for you. They are rolling out Meta AI in English in more than a dozen countries outside of the US. Now people have access to Meta AI in Australia, Canada, Ghana, Jamaica, Malawi, New Zealand, Nigeria, Pakistan, Singapore, South Africa, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. And we're just getting started. So this is an example. Planning a night out with friends, ask Meta AI to recommend a restaurant with sunset views and vegan options. So it looks like it already does have external context. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Organizing a weekend getaway, ask Meta AI to find concerts for Saturday night. And we can just watch the example happening right here. So this is within the Messenger app. You ask it a question and boom, pops it up right there the information you need. So you just at Meta AI it, and then you can ask it questions. Very, very cool. And they're also including Llama 3, Meta AI, and Search as well. This is a huge launch for Meta. So show me a video of the recipe. Great. These are really cool examples. Oh, wow. They're even putting it in your feed. So I'm not a big Facebook user. In fact, I don't really use Facebook at all. But now Meta AI is available directly in your feed. That is their bread and butter product. That is how they make so much money. So it's interesting to see how completely invested in AI and specifically Llama 3 Meta is. So it's a really good signal that if you're a developer and you're thinking about where to build your AI app, Llama 3 is probably a pretty good option. And here's another example. So you can simply say, imagine a bird and it'll give you an image of a bird, and then you say animate, and it will actually animate it. So that's very, very cool. Now, I still think that the quality of the images is not quite at the dolly or the mid-journey level, but that's okay. It's completely free, which is nice. And then, yeah, Meta just saying animate turns it into a GIF that you can share. Now, here is the Meta Llama GitHub page, so they do actually have the code, and here it is. Here's the code for Llama 3. You could download the models. So I don't believe this is open weight, at least not yet. Now, maybe I'm getting that wrong, but I don't see anywhere where it says open weight. So this is open source because they are open sourcing the code and you can download the model and do with it what you like. You can fine tune it, but I don't think the original weights are released. So if you wanna check out the GitHub repository, it's github.com slash meta-llama slash llama3.
and here's the model card for it. And this will likely be available on Hugging Face if it's not already. And there's that 15 trillion token count, which is just insane. That is an insane amount of tokens. And then they boiled it all down to effectively the same size model as Llama 2. So it's 8B instead of 7B and it's 70 billion parameter models. And here are a bunch of benchmarks. Here's Llama 2 7B, Llama 2 13B, and a bunch of benchmarks, and then Llama 3 8B. And across the board, 100% of their scores are beating Llama 2. And then here's the Llama 370B, and you can see it is a market improvement from the Llama 270B model again across the board. So I'm super excited to test this out. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna start recording another video, testing it, putting it through its paces in my LLM rubric. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.